So, uh, again, I'm really upset because I uh, shorted my coil out that's inside here, so I cut a hole in here. And I'm going to do one of two things. One, I'm going to attempt to salvage this wire. And it's loose in there. See that? So what I can do is, if it's not shorted out too bad, I can get the end of it out. And I can get an, an, a spool and wind up what's on here. And uh, possibly salvage the wire if it's still good. And there might be just a short on the outer edge, and I might be able to free it up. So that's what I did. I wanted to show you that in case I continue this film. <clears throat> so if you ever make one of these and you do this, you might be able to salvage it. I'm going to give it a shot. I'll uh, keep you updated. Ah. So I got in there and check it out. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see in there or not. But um, there's a coil in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and I pulled out the end. Yeah, so there's one of my leads. And then there's my other lead. But it goes to the inside of the coil, so it's real short here. But let's check it out. 1500. I mean, 1,518 ohms. Now, the coil that I have right here, that's exactly like it, is 2,000 approximately. If I can get this on here. So, there you go. That's this coil here. Um, I don't think this is going to affect it any. No. So, basically, what this means is that uh, wherever my short happened, I still have 1,500 foot of wire, and somewhere in there it's shorted. So it's only slightly shorted, um, but still shorted. I don't know what that means. Maybe I can recover this. We'll find out, but I just wanted to update you. So I did. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, it's another day. So I got this rodent coil. Actually, it's a high-voltage toroidal round rodent coil, I call it. And uh, I uh, I got the end here. Can you see it? It's real thin. And uh, it's inside this hole. Uh, that always happens during my videos. And uh, I have two options. One, take the wire out. Two, try to save it somehow. But it's uh, it's got problems where it's shorted out, and I'm, I've basically lost 25% of my inner coil. And it still has issues. So to save this coil, I got lucky enough to at least save the coil. And I'm going to just basically take this out. But uh, I poked a hole in there earlier. showed you that. And uh, I'm just going to wrap it on a spool. And then at least I'll have a good rodent coil with no problems on the inside. Uh, this this is, uh, on the inside it moves. Let's tell you what, I'm just going to break this off. That always happens too. Alright. Ta-da. Broke it off. That's so sad. And now this thing should just spin freely and I should be able to just pull this off, so stand back here. Ta -da. So there you go, it's hanging down, can you see it? And uh, I'm going to roll it up on a spool and at least get it out of there and I'll have at least a saved rodent coil. I was really upset that that thing busted. It's a terrible, terrible thing. I, uh, as you know, I spent a lot of time on that and I really liked it. And it actually just nice can't really save the wire because I uh, I hot glued it so I can't get that glue off very well so here we go whoa hi guys and girls here's my spool um, the thickness of this spool is about or the inside diameter of the uh, plastics about there where this washers at so I just got a just a really very little bit on there and this thing's still full if you can even see it in there. There it is. Focus. Focus. Anyway. Um, there you go. So I got it in the vise. Lightly. And uh, gotta get a new battery now. Here we go. Alright. Well there it is. Got it. All the wire. That is a lot of wire. Um, yeah. Once I got to the end I could feel it kind of rough probably shorted out the wire actually looks good it's not burnt so it must have just been a hair hairline short in there but uh, this coil got lighter <laughs> actually I still got a little piece left in there with what's taped to the base of the uh, the form that was on but uh, there you go 
all gone. <clears throat> so now I actually can use this coil and uh, it'll be good to go. So uh, I can finally do my, uh, my other test I was going to do because I could not do it because this was shorted out and it was going to affect the test. Um, so that's it. I just want to show you guys I got lucky and I'm very blessed that this stuff came apart. i tell you what. Um, that's a lot of copper. Uh, there you go. That's how big the hole is. That's how much copper is on it. That's a big difference. See my width there? About a half inch of copper. So there you go. Now uh, I can do my other tests and uh, keep this going. So uh, I just wanted to show you that I was able to get that out. <sighs> Sayonara! Hello everybody. So uh, I just wanted to show you something real quick um, before this is done and said. There's my ohms while it's off the spool. So whatever the short was I cleared actually, um, I don't know, my coil must, uh, must be smaller than the other coil that I had or there's some other type of short going on or I'm just crazy. But uh, anyway, I just want to show you that. So I, I had the same amount of ohms, uh, but while I was playing with it earlier, after I got the first short undone, and it still acted real strange. Um, so I didn't trust it, so I went ahead and just undid it anyway. So I guess this wire is probably still good, and I can still use it. So thankfully, that's a good thing. Um, other than that, have a nice one. I've got actually really cool videos to post, but it's going to take me like a week and a half to edit because it's like 50 minutes, but you all are going to love it. has to do with dry ice. See ya.